So what is it that drew you towards dramaturgy? Um, it's funny because I think of myself as a director dramaturge. So I'd say directing is the driving force, but in terms of dramaturgy, uh, I, it might be a, a few things. Like maybe I loved writers. I do, I, and I still do. You know, when I was at National Theater School, obsessed, obsessed with what the writers were doing, um, loved new work and felt an affinity for that when I left school. And that was mainly what I was doing as an actor uh, after NTS was working on new plays and just so much respect for what writers do and just wanting to know how to support them. And then when I was in England um, and I was doing my, my master's with uh, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in King's College London, um, we, we specialized. And so I specialized in dramaturgy there and in directing uh, and in some writing. And my two of my professors there were very encouraging. So I would say they are pretty instrumental in terms of sort of sharpening my dramaturgical eye um, and getting me excited about the multifaceted role that is dramaturgy, because there's so much that goes into it uh, that I think I'm still discovering, you know, because every, as we know, every play you work on, there is a different process, but every playwright you meet has, <laughs> has a different way of working. And so, and in the way that you can support them uh, in, you know, in pre to production, in the development phase to production is just so vast. Uh, so I find that really, really exciting, I suppose. So it's all about um, first meeting writers and falling in love with them and then having teachers who were like, yeah, you're still in love with them. And you, should, <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should lean into that and find so out how to support them. And it's so fascinating because like, I also went to NTS and like getting yeah. to be a part of those workshops and that moment where the dramaturge in the room would say, you can ask the playwright anything you want, but they don't have to answer them. But yeah, now yeah. getting to be mentored by you and being in the room sometimes where it's like you discuss what everyone has said and it, or, or you have to figure out like, are we going to answer these questions? Yes. I think it's just fascinating. Do you have a favorite question that you like to ask as a dramaturg or does it just always come down to why? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, lately I like, well, I always like wet bubbles. Um, cause I teach playwriting at Concordia. And so I find that I'm, I'm I definitely do dramaturgy for the, for the 16 playwrights I usually work with in the first, the foundational year. And they, what bubbles, what excites you is a really beautiful question um, that I think no matter what, when we do workshops, all students want to have is their one, they realize it's a great question because it, you need to have some affirmation and it gives you, uh, and inside what bubbles you get to find out, yeah, like what's exciting and people have to articulate, well, what is it? Yeah, that I'm, my eyes being drawn to, my ears being drawn to. Um, and I think that's helpful for a playwright. But when I'm talking to a playwright on their own, I, I usually like to ask them like, what's, what makes, the, what scares them? Mm. Uh, what are you, what are you not writing? Um, why is something like, what, what do you see as successful in your writing? Why is it successful to you? And then where are the places in the play where that you're not applying that? You're, you're the, the way you see how you excel in your writing and then apply it to places where uh, it's, it's weaker. And how do you identify that? I find those kind of conversations really interesting with playwrights. And usually, um, you know, if they're able to uh, have a discerning eye, um, it can be quite exciting to see what their responses are, not just in the moment, but when they go away and, and they tackle those questions and they come back, not just with an answer and verbally for me, but in the writing. I love that question of what bubbles, because we technically began this mentorship about directing but then yeah. what bubbled for me was realizing the, how many rooms I've been in with you where you've been the dramaturge and being like <laughs> I can talk about both things we can yes yeah and because you're you're sort of expanding in your own self like what are the that we don't have to do one thing which is the thing that we've been talking about a lot right you know you're you've graduated as an actor um you know you're continuing to hone those skills and, and yet uh, an actor doesn't just mean I come into a hall and I only like an actor is a dramaturge as well in a way, right? Like you're, you're a researcher, um, you're, you're invested in the stakes of the play. And, and so it's been, yeah, it's been so fun to find out that or talk with you about how things are bubbling regarding uh, that an actor's is a multifaceted role. They are, they are a dramaturge in a way. In some ways, they're also a director because I always think of directing as to direct is to aim 
we aim for something, we're looking for a, a, a point that we can all work towards together. And that's not just one person doing that. That's the, that's the whole team. Perfect. Thank you, Jess.